What's up guys? Today we're playing Epic 7 and today we are going to tackle Nightmare You Leave Council. Now this battle you have to bring in a lot of cleansing, immunity if you can, and don't bring any debuffs. I had previously completed this with Ray and Destina, Landy and Zahak. I'm going to link that video in case you want to go check that out. But on this video we're going to bring in Floppy Hat Lilius who of course was not released at that time and we're gonna swap out Landy. Now really, I think Landy was probably a little bit faster, but I also don't have a very max out copy of Lilius, so you might have a lot of luck with her. Let's first go into our heroes, and we are going to go into Zahak first. This is one of my very, very favorite heroes in the game. He has premium gear because I use him everywhere. Arena, RTA, Guild War, does not matter. If I can bring him, I'm bringing Zahak. Now I have him at pretty close to 4k attack. He has 261 speed, 99 crit chance, and 261 crit damage. This is a little bit of an overkill for this battle. You only need to have 50% crit chance. Now what I do is I have him at 100% crit chance because I want to take him into units that have a crit damage buff. So things like ML Landy, things like Senya, you know, when Cindy was really popular, I crit her 100% of the time. I come in, just one shot her. Now, this guy is on to a speed set with pen offset that will help him do quite a lot of damage. I could probably improve him, but I do like him at this level of damage and this level of speed. I have him on to a symbol of unity. That way, I can go in and murder Aiden, which is one of my very favorite things to do. I don't know. If you have a chance to murder Aiden, just, just do it. You'll feel better about yourself, I promise. And he is on the number one exclusive equipment, which is the only one that pretty much anyone should ever run. This will allow you to give attack buff to someone else as you're cleansing them in this fight, or to boost them up into PvP and then allow them to take the next turn. I love Zahak. I bring him everywhere. He's my dude. And he gets plenty of gear. You don't have to be this fast. You don't have to have this much crit chance. And he'll work for you in this fight but this is how i gear him out i like to bring him into other things let's go ahead and move down to landy next now this is my everyday landy what had happened was i was rolling some rage gear and you see 19 speed pretty okay helmet 17 speed here then as we get into the boots then you know i have speed pair of boots with the rage set Almost all of the heroes you're going to use Rage Set on, you want to be slower because they're in sort of a one-shot scenario. So because I rolled all this equipment unintentionally with too much speed, then I decided to build a Landy, and she works out great. I have her onto Rosa, which is very, very good into things like Expeditions. She is at 3,500 attack, 216 speed, 100 crit chance, and 280 crit damage. No matter what set you run her on, if you get these stats, she's going to do a ton of damage. If you want to run her at like 185, maybe 180, you can bring her into Expeditions, and then the boss, level 3 boss, will go first before her, and she won't boost up her friends and allow them to take their turn. So that's another way you can run her. Ideally, I would like to run her onto an attack pair of boots, but I have to put this pair of boots on someone. And Landy, man, she does great on this uh this setup so i do recommend it now again i'm not bringing her into this fight instead we're bringing floppy hat lilius she is interesting she's super hard to build but you you gotta respect a girl who just sits around in her lingerie i don't know it's cool it's cool right she's a lady and a freak she's got a lot going on just everything going on right now now, when you look at her, obviously I don't have her maxed out. She hits super hard onto her S number three, but she's very difficult to build. You want to have attack. You want to have low HP, 7,000, 8,000 HP max, then speed, no crit chance with crit damage. Now on this build with no Mulagoras, she's doing 20, 22,000 on that S number three, which is really good. Now in PVP, 
probably not good enough to one shot a lot of things like LRK or you know maybe an Arrowell or something like that. So I do need to work on her a little bit. She needs to have she needs to have more of everything, honestly. She needs to have somewhere around 3,700, maybe even 4K attack. I want to bring her crit damage up to something like 320 to 350. She doesn't have any debuffs. That makes her very good here. Now I have her onto Wind Rider. This is very good when you're into something like an RTA or an Arena or a Guild War because then she has a chance to um, go into stealth mode. So she's just one shot, one shot, one shot. Very nice. I have her onto speed. And then onto torrent set. These pieces, man, they took a long time to roll. They took a long time. I just, I don't roll attack gear with no crit chance. And so these things sort of happen by accident or I tried to get them like this pair of boots. I purposely tried to get a pair of boots without having the crit chance. High crit damage, high attack, effectiveness, I mean, effect resist. I wish this were defense. I think defense will work a little better, but overall she does work. She just needs probably more of everything. Let's go now into our Soul Weavers. This is my Destina. I, I don't use Destina a lot, um, so I don't have the best gear on her. You can see level 78 <laughs> ring, 78. 75 i'll go show it to you it's not it's not amazing this one actually rolled pretty good 35 percent on to resist yeah it's 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 okay it's okay you know to be honest a lot of this gear is just when i was a noob i didn't really know what i was doing and then suddenly i can use it on destina so there we go she has no molokora but she does have a boost on her S2, and she has a cleanse on her S number three. I run her onto the combat readiness exclusive equipment, which is the only one that I ever run. And I have her onto Shimadra staff. Honestly, I think that she does not do enough healing, and I would like to run her onto a different kind of artifact that either gives more healing or the ability to remove debuffs, but she does do a great job. And what she also does is give you some sort of insurance that if one of your heroes dies on the way to the boss you can bring them right back up which is you can't do that for the queen and so sometimes those runs can take a little bit longer but any destina that you're using for pvp is going to work here and i also have ray ray again not the best kind of gear honestly ray and destina use pretty much the same kind of gear you want 1300 to maybe 1500 defense 20k plus onto speed 180 to 200 or 20k plus onto hp 180 to 200 onto speed everything else into effect resist the closer you can get to 200 the better as you can see he's using he's using everything that no one else wants i need to put some work into ray but i don't use him for anything else so you know he works for like the guild uh, world boss he works for nightmare and that's really all i need him for i have him onto the number two exclusive equipment to increase his healing and that does really well and i have him into touch of red ghost because someone has to use it and I, I don't use ray for very much he honestly doesn't need a ton of investment and he still works out really well but he does use the exact same gear as destina and there's just not enough to go around Let's go now into the battle. This one takes about seven to eight minutes, no matter what combination you use between Zahak, Landy, and Floppy Hat Lilias. So any one of those you have built is gonna work for you here. I'll finish this soon. I'll make you useful. You're getting in my way. I'll remove you. Like you never even existed. Unconditional loyalty. It feels amazing. Those who chase pipe dreams usually meet a bitter end. It's not my fault if you get hurt. I'm here to save you from pain. Don't be afraid. <gasps> Let's carry out my plan. <laughs> Prove your worth. <laughs> Don't get any 
closer. Get that. I got it. My knife isn't for killing people. Don't worry. In the light's name. Resist as much as you can. Don't let me get out of my sight. You're making me get my hands dirty. You should feel honored. Prove your worth. Overpower them all. I'll finish this soon. Trivial creatures don't deserve to be. I'll just stay back here and provide support. Ah, unconditional loyalty. It feels no. amazing. Radiant light. Radiant one for a miracle. You're getting in my way. Don't come any closer. I bite. Carla! It's not my fault if you get hurt. Don't be afraid. I'll finish this soon. Let's carry out my plan. Come on, struggle. Try your best. Though it won't make a difference, I'll give you your orders. I won't step back. I'm here for you. I won't let you die. Politely get out of my it's sight. It's about time. Prove your worth. An opening. Go, Kylo. In the light's name. Foolish. My knife isn't for killing people. I'll heal you. Resist as much as you can. I'll do my best. You're getting in my way. Death comes at unexpected moments. Let's carry out my plan. Hmm. Radiant light. Ta-da! Here comes Sarky! Sacred power! It's not my fault if you get hurt. <laughs> Prove your worth. <laughs> Don't come any closer. I bite. <laughs> Is it my turn now? <laughs> I'll finish this soon. Now. Go have fun. Don't be afraid. Unconditional loyalty. It feels amazing. I'll just stay back here and provide support. <sighs> Prove your worth. I'll make you useful. Resist as much as you can. I'll remove you like you never even existed. Politely get out of my sight. Don't look back. I'll go. My knife isn't for killing people. It's okay, everyone. I'll make you feel better. In the light's name. Beast of the West. Let's carry out my plan. Get that. I'll give you your orders. <coughs> You're getting in my way. <coughs> Don't come any closer. I bite. Those who chase pipe dreams usually meet a bitter end. I won't step back. Radiant light. I'll finish this soon. Unconditional loyalty. Now. It feels amazing. Prove your worth. Overpower them all. Resist as much as you can. Trivial creatures don't deserve to live. Let's carry out my plan. Carla! Just dreams and fantasies. It's not my fault if you get Bring hurt. the patients here. Don't be afraid. Foolish. You're getting in my way. In the light's name. I'd like to get out of my sight. You're making me get my hands dirty. You should feel honored. My knife isn't for killing people. Ha! Don't come any closer. Huh. I got I'll finish this soon. Don't be afraid. 
Destina's protection. Let's carry out my plan. <laughs> I'll give you your orders. I won't step back. I'm here. To save you from pain. Prove your worth. <laughs> Unconditional loyalty. It feels Those amazing. who chase pipe dreams usually meet a bitter end. Radiant light. Feast of the West. I'll finish this soon. Death comes at unexpected moments. I'll just stay back here and provide support. Don't worry. I'll lightly get out of my sight. Tyla! Resist as much as you can. I'll do my best. You're getting in my way. I'll cut you. Don't be afraid. Come to me. Let's carry out my plan. Is it my turn now? I won't step back. I'll finish this soon. Don't come any closer. I thought. Come on, struggle. Try your best. Though it won't make a difference. In the light's name. Foolish. Unconditional loyalty. It make feels your amazing. I'll go. Prove your worth. 